Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am coming at you today with a full face, one brand. Y'all seem to really enjoy those. And while I know this specific brand is saturated on YouTube with full face videos, I wanted to bring you my own interpretation of how I use these products. And we're gonna be talking about Shantikai. Shantikai is a luxury makeup brand that I adore. Not only do they make amazing products, but they're very charitable and they're giving. They give back to many, 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 many organizations that help preserve animals and wildlife, and they are just amazing. So I am using all of Shantikai. I even had to get a little creative on the lips, as you'll see. But I'm also showing you what else I have in my collection within a category. So for instance, I only use one powder, but I'm going to show you the other two powders that I have. So basically along this tutorial, you're going to see my entire Shantikai collection. So if you want to see how I got this look and also see everything that I have from Shantikai, then let's go ahead and get started. All right, we're all zoomed in. Hair is back. We're serious about this makeup look, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm not going to use any kind of primer. I don't even know that Shantikai has a primer. I know they have um, like a Radiance Elixir Serum, which I've seen people use as a primer. They have the Rose de Mai Oil, which if you like to use an oil before makeup would probably work great. But as a specific primer, I don't have one. I don't think they market one. So I'm going to start out with my corrector before we get into foundation. I've seen people use this as a concealer and it definitely could be used as one. It's the Le Camouflage Stilo Pen. I used it in a, in a like new makeup video a few months back and I used it as concealer and I wasn't a fan of it. I just didn't feel like it had enough coverage. Now it does say an anti-fatigue corrector pen, so that's how I'm gonna use it today. I am in the color number three and it does have it's like a pen brush applicator which is typically not my favorite but I'm just gonna brush a little bit on where I am my darkest and then I'm just gonna take a brush and kind of tap it in I like using a brush a little bit more than my finger because I feel like if I use my finger it takes a little too much of the product away and this is definitely not my strongest corrector that I own. However, I used it yesterday as a corrector and I didn't dislike it. I mean, you can see it's covering up the darkness. It's not covering up all the way, but if you are someone who just doesn't like intense coverage or any kind of heavy feel, because this is a very lightweight product, then it might be something to look into. But I can say after using it yesterday as a corrector that I much prefer it in this step than I do as an actual concealer. Now, I posted a poll on Instagram last night saying that I was filming this video today and I asked whether or not you wanted to see me use the Just Skin Tinted Moisturizer or the Future Skin Gel Cream Foundation. Now, they are launching a brand new foundation. I believe it's next week. It's a cushion foundation. I'm very excited about that and I do plan on getting it. But right now, these are the only two liquid base products that I have. And it was two to one. Y'all wanted to see the cream foundation. A good amount of people still wanted to see the tint and moisturizer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this in next week's Instagram Get Ready With Me. So if you're not following me over there, be sure to follow me. And I will make sure to use this so you can see how it works. I will say right off the bat, I feel like the tint and moisturizer has more coverage than the gel cream. And it also has an SPF 15 where this does not. Now I'm in the color cream in this and I absolutely love this product. I've used it a few times on my channel. I've done a whole separate review on it if you're interested to see that. I like to use it a certain way. A lot of people will just kind of take it out and dot it all over, rub it in with their fingers, all that goodness. I like to take my brush directly into the product. Now, obviously this is not the most sanitary way to do it. And especially if you're sharing this product with anybody else for having a kit, this is not the way you want to do it. But for me, it's my favorite way. So I like to take my It Cosmetics dual ended number seven brush and dip it right into the product, get the product on the brush like that, then tap it around my face and blend it. 
And I know, and I'm really just kind of stippling to start. And I know people are going to be like, how is that any different than patting it on with your finger and then blending in? I don't know. I've tried it that way and I just don't feel like it worked the same. So this is just the way I prefer to do it. There is no right or wrong way. This is a, as the name states, a gel formulation. It's almost a little cooling going on. And I would say it's a sheer to light coverage and it blends in so nicely. I mean, look at that, it's just done. And I do have a few dry patches. Hopefully they're not as visible this week. I have really been struggling with some flakes, uh, more so than I think I have in probably years. Um, and I think I've finally got them under control to where you can't see them as much, but this is a foundation that works really well over those because it is so hydrating. It is an oil-free formula, but it's still just mm, so hydrating. It does have a little bit of mica in the ingredient list, which is going to help with like the light reflection, give it a little bit more of a radiant finish. It is buildable. I'm gonna take the other side of that brush, dip it into the product, and just tap a little bit on the places that I have redness, just to show you. Like, honestly, if I wasn't filming, I wouldn't be doing that part because I was fine with the coverage as it was. But it is an easily buildable formula if you have places that you want a little bit more coverage. Speaking of more coverage, I want some more coverage under my eyes. I've already used that concealer corrector pen, but I'm going to go in with a sample of product because obviously I don't have the full size. This is the Real Skin Eye and Face Stick. So this is what the full size looks like. This came um, as like a sample with one of my orders. And this is meant to be used either as a foundation or as a concealer or to add a little bit more coverage on specific spots on your face. I'm going to use the color three. I used the color one yesterday and <laughs> Like, it was exactly the look I didn't want, not because of the product, but because of the color. Because I don't like a bright under eye, and it gave me a bright under eye. Not quite sure why I used one, but you know. I'm going to take a little bit out with a spatula, and I will tell you, these samples would probably last me five or six applications, as long as I was able to keep them airtight, because you don't need a ton of this. And I'm just going to warm it up on my hand. This is a nice peachy shade. So it's going to help to further correct my darkness, also giving me some more coverage. So I'm really warming it up on the hand. And then I'm just going to take this finger with the product on it and apply a little bit more under my eyes as I would a concealer. And then I'm just going to keep pressing it in so that the warmth of my finger helps to blend it into the skin. And then I'll take my beauty sponge and I'll further blend it, especially just right up by that lash line. I do have a little bit of a dry patch right there, but it seems to be doing okay on it. But you can see, I mean, already, I can still see a small shadow of darkness, but that gave a good amount of extra coverage. And again, that shade is perfect for darkness. If you are around my skin tone, because it has that peachy undertone, it's gonna automatically start correcting as you apply it. So I have three cream liquid products from Chantique. I'm only gonna be using one of them, which is the highlight, the sheen highlight, but I'm gonna show you the other ones quickly. I have this cheek gelée blush, which I may be using a little bit later, but this is in the color Happy. And it does just make me happy. I mean, it's such a pretty, vibrant, peachy pink color, more pink than anything. It does have a little bit of a sheen to it. You can see when I move my hand, it catches the light. Just gives a really youthful glow to the skin. And then I have the gel, Radiant Gel Bronzer, and I believe they only have one shade in this. And I just put way too much on my hand really intimidating, but that's the bronzer. Obviously when it's blended out, it works much better, but it does have a, a slight warm tan undertone. So it gives you that really summery bronze look when you use it. That can also be mixed in with maybe foundations that are a little light. So if you don't like having multiple shades of foundations, you can get a product like this 
And in the summer, just add a little bit of it to darken it up. But I am going to be using the Liquid Lumiere Face Illuminator in the color Sheen. And this is just gorgeous. And I'm just going to take a little bit. I mean, you need, I probably, I probably squeezed out enough for five makeup applications. You need just the smallest amount. I'm just going to tap it. Look how pretty that is. On the tops of my cheekbones with my finger. And then I'm just going to lightly go back in with my sponge and kind of press it in. Make it look a little bit more natural and less like a stripe. And it just gives the most pretty, glorious glow without looking shimmery or glittery or anything that we don't want to accentuate areas on the face we don't want accentuated. All right, let's let all those cream products sink in and start on the eyes. I do not have an eye palette from Chantikai, and I'm having a really hard time finding them. So they have special occasion, like, special occasion, <laughs> limited edition eye palettes that I've seen. I believe they still have one on their site that's like nine pan, but their permanent eye palettes are just duos. And I've wanted a couple of the duos and I cannot find them. So if you know a other retailer that is still selling them, I think there's only two of the colors left on Chantikai's site and they weren't the two colors that I was wanting to try. So if you maybe know of where they might be, let me know for sure. I hope to goodness it's not a sign that they're discontinuing them because I really wanted to try them. But what I'm going to do is I do have one of their mermaid colors, which I love, which I'm going to use, but I'm also going to use one of their blushes because when you are in a pinch or when you're doing a full face and you don't have actual eyeshadows other than one, you can use a blush. <laughs> I do have two of the cheek shades and I'm going to be using one on the eyes and one on the cheeks. The one I'm going to use on the eyes is called Grace. And it is a sea turtle. So cute. They do have oversprays when you first get them, uh, but they will come off after the first application. So this is a pretty peachy shade. And I'm going to take my wrapper number 15 and I'm going to apply that pretty much all over the lid and up into the crease. I love using blushes for eye fillers, especially. When I'm traveling, it just makes it easy to pack one less thing. I'll maybe stick a couple of lid shades like I'm going to use here in a second in my bag and just make sure to rely on my blush colors because this is a very easy two shadow look that would take up minimal space in any kind of travel bag if and when we can all start traveling again. I don't want to say if, that sounds horrible. When we all start traveling. Because I've got too many places to see to not be able to travel again. Okay, so I've got that really nice base shade in, on. And now I'm going to go into this mermaid eye color in Triton. If you follow Abby, you've seen her use these. I bought these during the last 30% um, off sale they had on their site. And I got it and I swatched it and I texted her and I said, you need this shadow. She promptly went and ordered it because... I knew it was gonna look great on her, but it's this like gunmetal green taupey color. It's so pretty. Now I will say when I first used this, I used my finger because when I use pots, shadow pots like this, I feel like that's typically the best way they apply. Not with this. I like this much better with a brush. So I'm gonna go in with the Deluxe Crease Brush from Real Techniques. So it's just a very dense synthetic dome brush. And I'm going to load up the product on the brush and then I'm just going to press it onto the lid. See that really pretty color? Oh, it's so pretty. And then if you want to go back in with your finger and apply some on top, you can. But again, I just feel like that brush just really packs it on so well. So it's a really pretty almost duochrome color anyways, but when you put it as a topper on that blush shade, the blush shade comes through and it gives it even more dimension. And I just absolutely love this. As a one shadow look, it's, oh, it's just so pretty. And the last time I wore it, 
I went to, I don't know, I'm thinking I went to Kroger or something. It's not like there's a ton of places to go right now. I had a couple of people comment on my eye shade. And I need to stop because I just keep, I love it so much that I just keep building it up. But very, very, very easy, easy eye look using two products. And I love that. I want to get some other colors. They have a copper color that looks gorgeous. I have three powders from Chantecai. The two that I'm not going to be using are one that I don't think you can get anymore. But this was part of their Hummingbird collection. And it is the Perfect, Perfect Blur Finishing Powder. And I also got the buff and blur brush when I got this. And I like to use these two together because this is super dense. And when I use this, I like to swirl it in and stipple it into the face, especially in places that I prefer my pores to be more blurred because this is a very nice blurring powder. The other one that is permanent is the HD Perfecting Powder. So it looks like this. I've used this in a video before. I do really like this. I also think this is blurring as well. But today I'm going to show you how I use the compact makeup, which was in my powder foundation video. If you have not seen it yet, it was the last video I put up. And I talked about how this is great on its own, but it's also really good to set a foundation. So I'm going to show you how I use it to set. And for that, I use a much looser, non-dense brush than I did in the demo of that video because I don't want to use this as a powder foundation. I just wanted to set this gel cream foundation. It's going to add a tad bit more coverage, but not enough to really notice. This is in the color Camel. And I'm just going to tap that on. I don't want to really touch that highlighted area too much because I don't want to cover up that sheen. But hopefully it'll come across on camera how fast and easy this sets makeup. Love it. I love everything about this powder. So I showed you the liquid bronzer. This is probably my favorite of the two and it is the Real Bronze bronzer. You can tell how much I've used it. And this is in the shade Goa. So this is the more reddish undertone. I do want Serena. It is on my wish list uh, because I love this formula so much. It is like a big gelée formula. I like to use a little bit of a duo fiber brush when I'm using big gelée. Oh goodness. Because I feel like it picks up the product the best. So I'm going to be using my Osmosis Large Accent to pick that up and apply it to the face. It's just... You know how they have real skin in a lot of their titles or names of their products? I really do feel like all of their products, especially when used together, just look like real skin. And this bronzer just melts into the skin. I like the reddish undertone personally because I feel like it makes it look the most natural. Like I just got a little bit too pink on my face, which y'all know. Is never going to happen in real life. <laughs> I mean, I will not allow that to happen with the amount of protection that I wear on my face and the amount of times I don't get out in the sun, but I love that effect. Now, we've got that highlight going. I don't think I'm going to try to add any more. And for the cheeks, I'm going to use another one of the powder blushes, and this is in Laughter, which, if you can see, is the coral. I've used this one the most. I've had it the longest. It's a little bit darker than Grace, but it's a really pretty, vibrant coral shade. I'm going to go back into Grace, the sea turtle. Buff a little bit that, of that underneath the eye to finish off the eye look. And this is a soft enough pink where I don't feel like it makes you look sick or anything like that. It doesn't have enough red in it, in my opinion. So if you are a little weary of wearing pinks and stuff on your eyes because of that, I just don't feel like this is going to really fall into that category. And then finally for the eyes, I'm going to take a little bit more of that illuminator on a pencil brush and put it on the inner corners of my eyes. Little 
little bit on the brow bone. It's just, it's just too pretty not to use all over, right? <laughs> okay, let's talk mascara. I have already put on my bottom lash mascara, but I just opened this yesterday, and it is the Chantilly Faux Seals Longest Lash Mascara. This is the most expensive mascara that I have ever purchased in my life. I did get it during the 30% off sale, but I have just heard so many great things about this mascara. It does have a pretty, I mean, I was going to say normal brush, but just a pretty basic brush, which I'm okay with. It's not plastic bristles, so it's not going to poke you in the eye. I'm going to show you how I use this without a primer because I know not everybody wears a primer. So I want to show you how it works without. Now this says that not only is it going to work as a great mascara and get all over my eyelid, that's my fault, not the mascaras. It is also going to help promote lash growth. So they do have two different formulas. They have this one and then one that's a little bit cheaper that I don't think has those lash growth properties in it. But this one, to be as expensive as it is, has a huge following, which to me just made me so curious because I'm like, if this is going to be a $72 mascara, but still a ton of people talk about how amazing it is, I need to know why. So that is the first coat without a primer. And I will say that I just opened this yesterday, but... From that, I can say it's one of the easiest mascaras to remove. And some of the ones that I've been using lately, I can't say that about. I may love how they look, but they do take a little bit of extra work to remove at night. But I felt like this came off super easy when I washed my face last night. And I'm just getting it all over my lids. <laughs> Let me finish this up real quick. So that is two coats of the mascara without a primer. Another thing I want to mention about this is that it is extremely lightweight. It is not heavy on the lashes at all. I have used many in the past where I can feel the mascara on my lashes and it makes me want to pick at them because I do have a tendency to pick at my lashes. This is very lightweight. In fact, by the end of the night when I ran like my fingers like this, I just didn't feel like I had any mascara on at all. So, so far, I'm really enjoying this. We'll see if by the end of the tube, if I feel like the lash growth properties actually worked, but so far I'm liking it. I don't have a single lip product from Shanty. I, when I thought about doing this, I'm like, oh yeah, I got everything. And then when I was setting things out, I'm like, oh my goodness, I don't have a single lip product. So, we're going to wing it, and I'm going to use the cheek gelée and happy on my lips and then I'm probably going to end up just topping it with a clear gloss but I do really like this color so let's see let's see how it works okay so that is happy on the lips it has a little bit of a sheen to it because of the reflection but I am just going to put a tad bit of clear gloss on top because apparently I can't wear lip product that doesn't have gloss on top. <laughs> so that is the completed full face of Shantikai. Hopefully you enjoyed this. I definitely will continue to add to my collection. So since I showed you my entire collection, if there was something I did not show that you think I need and would love, please share it with us down in the comment section below. Thank you all so much for watching. Be sure and like and subscribe before you leave so you don't miss out on any future videos. I hope you're all staying happy, healthy, safe, and sane. And the most of all, you go out and have a very blessed day.